Hey babies, welcome back. Now y'all know I love Nadula. Okay, they are infamous for affordable wigs that of course they always have on sale. So definitely be sure to check out the description box below um, so that you can take advantage of any coupon codes or anything like that that we have available. So today I'm gonna be taking a look at their 24 inch kinky curly six by 4.5. HD lace and of course they always give me a ton of goodies um, I even got like a robe which I completely forgot to show you guys but they have this newer version of a wig cap that is just a lot more transparent of course you get that silky bag and this unit is already pre-cut so you know this is yet another beginner friendly install and y'all can already see the knots have been lightly bleached if you feel the need to bump it up a notch you definitely can it definitely has a breathable cap so we'll what does that mean girl you can get in there and really scratch your scalp if you need to apply some oil to your braids if you have to um, and it's definitely not going to make your head feel like way down and like you cannot breathe so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is of course y'all know I had to kind of elevate this a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and take some clear uh, volume developer and also some uh, bleaching powder which I got from Sally's uh, if you guys need a more in-depth tutorial y'all know just go through the playlist I do have a ton um, and I like to just pretty much do my ratio about one scoop to probably about a quarter of developer just because it is a liquid and anytime that I find that it's a little too moist I always want to kind of make it a little bit more on the dry side so that we don't risk any of this bleaching powder just being too heavy and seeping through onto the actual hair we want to kind of keep it just on the knots only because we want to only bleach the knots uh bleaching the knots of course y'all should know this by now but in case you don't it just kind of helps with that like realistic scalp look and because the lace is hd it's going to help everything just kind of further bleed um into your skin and just really give a more natural appearance now y'all don't have to worry this is not a <laughs> butter knife that i actually use in the kitchen i have pretty much discarded it at this point so I like to use this just because it gives a nice and even layer. I can't remember which YouTuber I saw do this like years and years ago, but nevertheless, this has been one of the keepers. So I did go directly in the center first, just because I really wanted to emphasize uh, more of the product in the center, just obviously y'all know I'm gonna be wearing a middle part. And then of course we go along the edges and I typically let this sit for about 25 to 30 minutes. And when we come back, y'all, usually the knots are perfect do not go in and check on this a million and one times y'all as long as the consistency is thick enough you should not have to worry about anything seeping through and i think we did our thing with this one so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and pretty much just start to uh, shampoo this out i don't recommend you doing this in your bathroom because it will cause your sink to be a little bit uh disturbed okay y'all gonna need some draino if you are doing this at home your parents are gonna be upset so definitely make sure that you have some type of hair catcher something so that you are not getting all that nastiness down into the drain but y'all look at the results oh my god i'm ready to install this i don't know about you but i'm gonna go ahead and just continue to wash anytime i get curly hair for the most part i like to you know just go through and do a shampoo condition just because the curl pattern that the hair comes is typically not one that is you know to my liking, I'm going to say. And they do expect for it to change. So definitely make sure that you adjust your cap. Um, kind of get it the way that you want it to be. Of course, this is a fully customizable cap, meaning that you can tighten the actual elastic band and you can tighten the cap as well. So I do like that. Now, the shampoo that I use, it's just sham the real raw shampoo. The It doesn't have to be this brand specifically, but y'all know I've done quite a few collaborations and at some point the product has to be used, okay? I have actually just started using that shampoo and the conditioner on most of my wigs just because I don't really like it on my natural hair as much anymore. Um, and so yeah, you guys can see. Now, obviously when you rinse out the bleach, there is gonna be this like dirty looking color. I don't want y'all to think that that was like <laughs> what was going on with the hair. The hair did of course have some type of uh, coating on it, which I did notice. I wasn't sure exactly what it was. I got some shedding of course, just because it's curly hair. Uh, not to mention I'm putting this in a sink so the hair is actually wrapping itself around the base of the drain and so I noticed when I would go to lift the wig up some of the hair was being pulled out 
Thank God that Nadula supplied me with a good density <laughs> so that I didn't have to worry about any of the shed hair or anything like that too, too much. So don't be alarmed there, but this is just a quick look at how much shed hair I got. I decided to go in with a conditioner that I love and I use on my natural hair, the Design Essentials Almond Butter, y'all. When I tell you, my clients, y'all know, if y'all brought me some hair and it was time to install it and I was like, girl, this hair feeling like butter, y'all knew that that was a good sign. Keep going to that hair company and that was exactly how I felt with this unit. Of course, the help of the conditioner is always a plus, but y'all, it really, really transformed the luster of the hair, super silky, super soft. I don't know if you guys can just tell in this video how fluffy everything was. And of course, you wanna make sure that you kind of really rinse out that conditioner, unless you don't mind having a little bit of the residue and kind of acting as like a leave-in conditioner, but Y'all, the curls was doing what it needs to do. We didn't even have to do that. So I waited until the water was completely clear, free from like all those little bubbles and all that stuff indicating that there's product there. And of course, y'all know I had to go ahead and put this on and diffuse it. So here's a quick look at the hair. Sorry, y'all. I'm smacking in y'all ear. My bad. Okay, snack time. Here we come. So yeah, <laughs> I just went ahead and I uh, pretty much pulled my hair back. I have like a one braid. Y'all, I did this while my hair was super wet. So I actually have conditioner in my hair as we speak. It's like 50% dry, <laughs> but I needed to go ahead and get this video up for you guys. And I wanted to be lazy. I did not feel like doing a full head of braids. It's curly hair. So I knew it was not going to matter as much. So I did go ahead and just put on a cap. You don't have to do two you don't have to do the ball cap method you don't even have to apply glue all right i decided to do it just because i really really like this unit and for some reason when it comes to the curlier units i know that i'm more than likely going to dampen this with water a little bit more frequently so i didn't want to rely on just like a hairspray so i did go ahead and just use some glue that is a little bit more waterproof you can choose to use whichever glue you prefer i don't want y'all to get caught up on that part of course Y'all already know, I use what everybody else uses, okay? And so I'm just taking a look at this. I already knew that the hair was gonna do what I wanted it to do. I just had to figure out how the part was gonna lay. Like what was going on, Christy? So I did go ahead and take some mousse, which I've been using this container, um, but this is not cream of nature argan oil mousse. This is actually the Brown Brothers uh, mousse, which I find leaves a really nice hold and shine without getting like super crunchy. Um, obviously, if you don't have access to that, you can use the Cream of Nature one. I love it. Obviously, I'm still using the container, but like I said, it's a different product in there. And I don't know if you guys remember this like detangler that has like I don't know, the separated combs. First of all, get it if you don't already have it. Um, I'll probably add it to my Amazon store just in case you guys are looking for it. And the glue that I'm using is called, what is the name of it? I said that I'm using what everybody else is using and then I forgot the name of it. Is it bold? Yeah, bold hold, duh. Okay, anyway, disregard. You don't have to use it. If you want to, cool, no big deal. You guys can see Bleach in the Knots made all of the difference getting this hair nice and prepped and primed before you go in with the diffuser is gonna be key. So definitely make sure that you kind of set the curls exactly where you want it to stay. I don't know if you guys kind of noticed how I used the curl to kind of frame my face a little bit. I decided not to cut any layers, nothing. We want this wig to literally be a vacation style that I can throw on and go. So. Shout out to all my vacation girlies because I know it's loading. The economy looking kind of crazy. So y'all, hey, but this is for another video. So if you didn't know, I am using the Pattern Beauty Blow Dryer just to diffuse. Um, and I was able to get go through all of this hair. Like I said, it's about 24 inches, super thick and full. Got this done in about 30 minutes. So up your blow dryer game, okay? Look at the curls. Mm -hmm. And I always love a kinky curl because it's just not overly shiny overly like that deep wave look it still gives you a lot of body and volume without looking like way down of course here is the big reveal now of course for the hairline this is not a like ear to ear type of thing it is the 4.5 across which is only literally going to cover enough from like literally the tip of one eyebrow to the other and then of course six inches back which i love just because who doesn't love a deep parting space and then if y'all don't 
don't know. My secret lip combo is some dark brown concealer, a little of the Kat Von D bow and arrow, and then a clear gloss on top, y'all. <laughs> we in the game. Let me know what y'all think about this because I was feeling like a princess in this hair looking super good. I got so many compliments. Obviously, I have my little headphone in my ear. If y'all don't know about Queen Cup, look her up, okay? Because that's usually what I'm listening to. But <laughs> anywho, I love you guys so much. Thank you, Nadula. Bye, babies. <laughs>